Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad, where you'll learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are making a delicious quinoa pilaf with roasted red pepper. This is such a delicious recipe. It's a perfect side dish for so many meals. It's healthy, filling, high in protein, and high in flavor. It's really easy to make. The ingredients in this recipe are olive oil, diced red onion, minced garlic, vegetable or chicken broth, quinoa, fresh ground pepper, bay leaf, dried thyme, and roasted red pepper. The first thing that you need to do is get a medium to large saucepan and we're going to heat the olive oil over medium low heat. So turn your burner on. We have one to two teaspoons of olive oil. You could also saute the onions and garlic in broth. I'm gonna use a little more than one teaspoon. Okay. So once our olive oil gets hot, we're gonna go ahead and add our diced red onion. I minced it in a small size, about a quarter inch. And when I dice the roasted red peppers, I'll try and dice those similar size to my onions. Okay, so half a cup. We're gonna saute the onions until they're soft. Okay, so our onion is pretty soft. We're gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of minced garlic. I have prepared minced garlic. You could mince your own if you'd like. This is pretty fast and easy. You're gonna saute for another minute. You don't want the garlic to brown or burn though. So turn down the heat if you need to. So next we're gonna go ahead and add our vegetable or chicken broth. I have vegetable broth. You need four cups. Okay, and then two cups of quinoa. Go ahead and stir that in. And when you use quinoa, if the bag doesn't say the quinoa is already rinsed, you'll need to rinse it. Put it in a small, in a sieve with small holes and then run cold water over it. A lot of times nowadays, there are, it's already pre-rinsed and the bag would say it. This says pre-washed, no need to rinse. So um, read your bag. If it doesn't say it's rinsed, go ahead and rinse it. Next, a quarter teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. You can just eyeball it and you can add it to your taste as well. Okay, and then a bay leaf. Throw that in. Then we have a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. And then stir all these ingredients together. So we're gonna increase the heat, bring the mixture to a boil. Okay, our pilaf has come to a boil. We're gonna reduce the heat to low, just to simmer, simmer like a small boil. Then we're gonna cover it, simmer our pilaf 15 to 20 minutes or until all the liquid is absorbed. Definitely check it by 15 minutes or a little bit earlier. If the heat's higher, it might cook faster and absorb the liquid faster. So check it early while our pilaf is simmering. We'll go ahead and dice our roasted red pepper. Okay, we need three quarter cup of roasted red pepper. You could roast your own or I bought already prepared roasted red pepper, which makes it really easy. And we need three quarters of a cup. So we're just gonna go ahead and dice it. And I like to make it like the same size as the red onion. So that was about a quarter inch. So what I do is I just kind of first cut them in strips. After you have a bunch in strips, just turn them all sideways, line them up, and then we'll just cut them into like quarter inch pieces. Okay, we'll start filling our measuring cup till we have three quarters of a cup. And they don't have to be perfect. Just get some more and start dicing those. You could even just turn the whole cutting board. At about three quarters of a cup, we'll set these aside and we're gonna add them after our quinoa is finished. It's been 15 minutes. I took a peek at the quinoa and it looks like all the water is absorbed. 
So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fluff the quinoa. If you have Teflon, be careful you don't scrape your pan. Next, I'm going to put in my roasted red peppers. Got three quarters of a cup. And just kind of fold those in so they're distributed evenly. And you could take out the bay leaf. Okay, we can go ahead and put it in a bowl for serving. So it's time to try our quinoa pilaf with roasted red peppers. It smells amazing. Perfect side dish for lots of meals. So there you have it. Super easy. Tastes delicious. You're going to love it. If you want, you could add more salt and pepper to taste. And you may not need salt depending on how salty your broth is. Okay, time to try this. Mm. It is so good. I love it. I also think the texture of quinoa is really fun. This is a very hearty, healthy side dish. Try it and let me know how it turns out. So I'll see you in the next lesson.